Open the project called Very Audio 1. In this example, we have a saxophone audio file that has a few wrong notes in it. We're going to change the individual pitches to create a new saxophone line. Double click on the audio file to open the sample editor. Open the Very Audio tab on the left. Activate the Pitch and Warp button. Cubase will begin to analyze the audio file and detect its pitches. Press play and make sure you zoom in or out enough to see all the pitches. Freely move the segments that appear over the audio file to alter their pitch. These segments represent the tonal pitches of the audio. When you move the segments for the first time, you may receive a message indicating that Very Audio requires the algorithm to be switched to solo. You will always know what the original pitch of each segment is by the orange line that appears when you move a segment. When you move a segment up or down, it will automatically snap by moving in semitone steps. If you hold down Shift, you can move the segment freely with Snap turned off. If you're zoomed in enough, you'll be able to see the note pitch and the deviation of the segment from this pitch when the cursor is over the segment. If the audio file has all the right notes, but has some that are out of tune, you can easily straighten them out using Pitch Quantize. Select the segments you want to pitch quantize and adjust the pitch quantize slider. The segments will move to the nearest semitone. You can also pitch quantize all the segments by pressing Ctrl or Command A to select all and adjusting the pitch quantize slider. So not only have we changed the pitch of this saxophone line, but we've tightened up the pitch to get it just right. In this example, we'll begin to explore the various possibilities of editing segments. Load the project called Very Audio 3. Double click on the audio file to open the sample editor. Open the Very Audio tab on the left. Activate the Segments button. Cubase will begin to analyze the audio file and detect its pitches. Right away, we can see that there's a problem with the middle segment. It should actually be two segments instead of one. You'll notice that the mouse pointer becomes a scissor. Click where you see the pitch of the segments change. Notice that the segment becomes two segments that can now be moved independently. Just before those segments are two other segments that need to be glued together. You can click on the first segment while holding down Alt or Option. A glue tube appears. This joins the segment you have clicked on with the next segment. There may be times when the segments are not exactly where you would like them. You will need to edit their start and end times. This may be due to noise or other variances that cause the audio file to be analyzed incorrectly. This fifth segment requires its start point adjusted. A hint here is to look at the audio file in the background to see where the waveform begins. Click and hold at the beginning of the fifth segment and move its start point to the right. Now click and hold at the end of the fourth segment to adjust its length so it lines up with the fifth segment. The fourth and fifth segments are now in their right positions. It's generally best to make sure that the end and start of the two segments are butted together. At the end of the audio file, the last segment seems to be short. Click and drag so that the segment is as long as the audio file. Now let's explain these two modes a bit more. Switch back to the pitch and warp mode. A shortcut for this is to press tab. Now switch back. When you're in segments mode, the segments are shown with a hatched background. When you're in pitch and warp mode, the segments are shown with a plain background. The segments mode allows for editing of the individual segments, which includes changing the start and end positions of a segment, cutting or gluing segments, and moving or deleting them. The pitch and warp mode allows you to change the pitch and timing of your audio. Let's change another thing at the end. The last segment seems to carry on a bit too long. Shorten the last segment so that it's about half its length. You are actually time stretching at the segment level. When you edit the timing of audio segments, warp tabs will be created. Let's play it back and hear all the changes we've made. Tilting of individual notes is referred to as editing micro pitches. You can modify pitch modulation like light vibrato, 
tremolo, or slide by using the straightened pitch slider or by editing the micro pitches. You'll notice that the last segment has a lot of pitch variation in it. Press play to hear it. Select the last segment and move the straightened pitch slider towards the right. This reduces the amount of pitch modulation that the segment contains, basically smoothing it out. Listen back to hear the changes. Feel free to use straightened pitch on all the segments. It can be very useful to correct minor unwanted pitch variances in your performance. Now we're going to change the tuning of the note segments by adjusting its micro pitches. Click in the upper right hand corner of the segment. The mouse pointer becomes an up down arrow. Drag downwards to change the micro pitch curve. We're going to try to simulate the sound of the saxophone dropping its pitch or sliding downwards. You'll notice that it doesn't sound very realistic since a sax player would generally wait until the very end and slide the note down quickly. This is where we can add a tilt anchor and achieve the sound we want. Choose Undo Tilt Micro Pitches from the Edit menu. Move the cursor to the upper border of the segment. Click to insert a tilt anchor. Click again in the upper right hand corner of the segment and drag downwards. Do this as many times as necessary. This time, the tilt anchor is used as an axis around which the micro pitch curve can be rotated. Play it back to hear the change. In this example, we'll use Vary Audio on a vocal with backing tracks. Be sure to see the previous examples on Vary Audio before proceeding with this section. Load the project called Vary Audio 10. The tempo should be set to 75 beats per minute and cycle should be turned on, cycling between bars Baby. 1 and 7. Well, babe, are you ready, ready to... Notice how the vocal sound before we use Vary Audio. Double click on the vocal audio event to open the sample editor. Open the Vary Audio tab on the left and click on Segments. You may need to scroll down to see everything. Click while holding down Alt or Option to glue together the first two pitch segments that make up Bay and Baby of the first vocal section. Also glue together the second and third pitch segments that make up Re and Ready. Keeping certain pitch segments together while changing their pitch helps to maintain proper sound characteristics, resulting in a more natural sound. Switch to Pitch and Warp mode. Move the Bay and Baby to the pitch of E3. Also move the R in Ready to the pitch of E3. Now move the end of R and U to E3. Do this by selecting the three pitch segments and moving the top one to E3. Let's listen back to it now. Let's do something fun with the vocals by creating a flare upwards. Move the D in Ready to G3. Do this by selecting the two pitch segments that make up D in Ready. Move them together. Ready. Now switch to Segments mode by pressing Tab and move the cursor to the lower border of the segment. Split the end of the segment. Click anywhere but on the segments to deselect the three pitch segments. Switch back to Pitch and Warp mode. Now move the last pitch segment up to C4. This creates a very natural flare upwards in the vocals. You may need to zoom in for this. Zoom out and play back the audio to hear all the changes. Now let's pitch quantize the vocals and make some small adjustments. From the edit menu, choose Select All or press Control or Command A. Move the pitch quantize slider up to around 80%. This will move the pitch segments to the nearest note. Listen back to the changes. Baby, well, baby, the pitch quantize slider puts everything in tune. Ready, ready to. 
Notice that the phrase, well, babe, just doesn't sound right. Sometimes being a little bit out of tune sounds right for certain phrases in a vocal. Select the three pitch segments that make up the phrase, well, babe, and choose pitch from the reset menu under the Vary Audio tab. This will move these segments back to their original pitch. That sounds a lot better. Ready, ready to 